Welcome back to SA Live. Well, your journey to a healthier you doesn't have to be bone breaking and filled with tears. There's a CrossFit gym in SA that is willing to meet you right where you are at with your current fitness level. And joining me right now is Jeff Solo, owner of Alamo 180 Community Fitness with an easy total body workout. Thanks for being here. Thank right. you for and having us. Introduce your fabulous uh, fitness model. So there. my fitness model today is my spouse and co-owner. This is my wife, Bree. She's going to be banging out massive repetitions. <laughs> yes. All right. So what's the first move? Okay. The first move we're going to do today is one that lots of people know, but maybe don't know how to do correctly. It's the push-up. So first we're going to go over some common mistakes people make when doing the push-up. Bree, go ahead and get on down there and start cranking them out. So first of all, what we're seeing here is her hands are way too wide, her butt's way up in the air. So let's go ahead and pause, let's reset. So I'm gonna have her get into a really good plank position. Her hands gonna be slightly, uh, her, her thumbs are gonna to touch her sports bra. She's gonna flex her abs, squeeze her thighs, squeeze her butt, and push off the floor to a high plank, and then control herself back to the floor. That's a great push-up. Now maybe you're telling your, maybe you're asking yourself, I can't do that push-up like that. What can I do to meet me where I'm at? So now Bree's gonna go to her knees, she's gonna shorten the lever, and she's gonna make this a little bit easier on herself. She's still gonna flex her thighs, she's still gonna flex her abs, she's still gonna squeeze her butt, she's gonna lower herself down to the floor nice and easy. And so now this is a modified push-up, all right? We wanna make sure that we're going to the bottom of our chest, we're not flaring our arms out wide, keep those elbows tucked in so she looks like an A, the letter A from her shoulders to her elbows, all right? That is a great exercise for developing chest, triceps, abs, quads, glutes. Great, great exercise. Lots of people know the push-up. It's a fan favorite. It's a fan favorite, yes. Right up there with the burpees, yes. Yes, absolutely. Everybody loves burpees. Yes. So why did you start this CrossFit gym? Well, because I like to pick things up and put them back down. <laughs> Really, we started this gym in 2011 because we love San Antonio. We wanted to help people find an easier way to exercise. I'm sorry, I said easy. I meant a simpler way to exercise and simple nutrition advice. Simple is not always easy. Okay, and so what are three things, because you also help out besides exercise with nutrition, what are three ways someone could improve their nutrition today? Drink more water, mm -hmm. eat more protein, lots of fruits and vegetables. Okay, and that will benefit you, of course, of right? Of course, whole foods over processed foods is where we wanna go with our diet. I think this is stuff we all know, mm -hmm. we all know. We just have to hear somebody in a tight-fitting t-shirt say it, <laughs> you know? Yes. Say it like Arnold. Yes. Yes, yes. You have to eat all the eggs and all the protein. <laughs> okay, all right, so of course, total body workout, we got one more, right? Right, our next movement, is, we call these uh, couplets when we have two exercises paired together. Uh, our next movement is complementary to the push-up. It's gonna work the back side of the body. This is called a sumo deadlift high pull. So Bree's gonna set up by start spreading her feet wider than shoulder width apart. She's gonna push her hips back, reach down, keeping her head and eyes up. And she's gonna stand up and then pull high to the outside like she's zipping up a jacket and then right back to the floor. This is a great exercise for developing hamstrings, glutes, low back, mid back, and biceps. We wanna fill those shirt sleeves with bulging biceps. The sumo della pie pull is a great exercise. And very nearly, these two exercises complemented together are a great total body workout. And workouts don't have to be overly complex. You can do these two movements together, 10 reps of push-ups, 10 reps of sumo della pie pulls for 10 minutes straight, and you're gonna be pretty... Uh, you're good. You're good, you're good, you're, <laughs> you're, good. Good. you're, you're good. yeah. You're, you're gonna be able to eat some ice cream with Mike <laughs> Osterhag. Yes. Um, so tell them about class sizes, because they're fairly small, right? We keep our class sizes small. One, because, well, coming out of COVID, everybody was nervous. But the other part is that we found that the smaller class sizes allow us to have better instruction. There's a little bit more of an intimate feel with six people in a class. And just having someone next to you in the middle of a workout really does kind of light your fire a little bit yes. and understanding, uh, you know, you're not in this alone. Yes. When well, they say misery loves company, company. right? <laughs> you know, don't suffer alone. Bring your friends with you to suffer. But it can be fun. It can yeah, be fun yeah. Also. It sucks way less when you suck, <laughs> when it all sucks together, right? 
<laughs> All right, so discounts, of course. We offer discounts for teachers, uh, law enforcement, uh, first responders and military. We also offer family discounts as well. All right, well, thank you so much. And thank you, Bree, for doing all the hard work. For more information on Alamo 180 Community Fitness, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, where we've provided a link, or just scan that QR code on your screen.